Stone slabs have been found in the forests of Brazil that have been worn into hollows, apparently by prehistoric people using stone hammers. It turns out they were not made by humans at all. A bearded capuchin monkey starts the processing of palm nuts by tapping them to see if they're ripe. There are only 20 or 30 monkeys in a group with fewer social pressures. They are thinkers and doers, not chatterers. The ripest palm nuts are stripped of their outer case ready to be dropped onto the ground to dry out, which will take about three days. Each stage seems very well coordinated, a routine in a monkey culture, choreographed to perfection. Tapping again tells the monkeys which ones are ready. may take place at the other end of the valley, the nut-cracking site. The hammers are of a harder stone brought up from the riverbeds by the monkeys. They're heavy, some as heavy as the monkey itself. Palm nuts are extremely hard and difficult to crack open. It only works if you get it exactly right. Somehow, these clever monkeys get amazingly good at it. Collecting a ripe nut has taken days of harvesting, testing, ripening, transportation, collecting tools and choosing sites, not forgetting years of learning in the nut cracking school. The year two class is still wrestling with the basics. The sounds echo through the forest. Jaguars know it's monkeys at work. The capuchins always select their sights carefully, preferably below the edge of the escarpment. But it's more than just an escape route. increasingly realizing we are not the only intelligent life on the planet. <laughs> 